Experience the most challenging race in the world, traveling with the most awarded airline of South America, LAN. The Dakar has visited so many places over the years. Now, this second edition taking place here in South America brings up once more the problems of what we leave behind. It's all very well seeing the glitz and the glamour and the sexy shots that we regularly see during the broadcasts, but what about clearing up after the whole operation? As always, the French-led organisers have a solution to this, and they go through the stages. These cars are leapfrogging each other stage by stage. Each team is in charge of a stage. One does the odd-numbered stages, the other does the even. It's more of an efficient way of working, and in each group there are even some local representatives who approve of the work that we do. The father of the first Dakar in 1979, Thierry Sabine, had a wish to preserve nature and respect the desert. He asked the Tuaregs to help clean the route of the Dakar after each year. This they did, even discovering wrecks that had maybe been there many years earlier. Into the 21st century, it's no different with tyres and rubbish being removed from the Atacama Desert. As organisers, we believe we can organise a rally and respect the places we cross. For us, it's a major factor when planning the route to take care of the environment. The Dakar is a truly Herculean event. It's still in operation way, way after the front runners have gone through. It's not just the spin doctors in operation, but a serious considered clean-up to make sure the Dakar is able to return in the future.